Our scripture reading this morning is from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. And Acts is kind of an interesting book. Uh, it's a sequel to the Gospel of Luke. It's written by the same person, and it's addressed to the same person. And so the scripture writer obviously wanted us to read this as um, a continuation of the story that's come before. And Acts is kind of the only uh, book like this that we have in the Bible. We have four Gospels. We have a whole bunch of letters that are written to various churches in various places. But Acts is the only book that tells us the story about what happened to the early church and to Jesus' early followers just after he had ascended into heaven. So how did this group of people who had followed him on earth um, suddenly adjust to uh, becoming the body of Christ on earth? So this is the very beginning of that story. I'd invite you, before we start reading, to join me in a moment of prayer. Lord, as we read the book that we love this morning, please open our eyes and open our hearts so that we will hear anew the words of Scripture. And in these words, and in these characters, and in this story, may you speak to us in our place and in our time. We pray this in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So Acts chapter 1, beginning with verse 1. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This is Jesus, who has been taken up away from you into heaven, who will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 